Are you trying to make vegan gains in the gym but you don't have time to cook high protein meals from scratch? Or maybe you're just really lazy? I've got you covered with my zero prep meal series. These are pretty good for protein and they've got some good ingredients. Trouble is they've got some coconut milk in which we avoid because of heart health. Oh, dude. Let's have a little look see. Only eight grams of protein and coconut milk again. A bit on the processed side, 8.7 grams of protein, so not amazing, but if you don't mind it not being all whole foods, something. At least there's options. Nice to see a vegan option with the sushi, just four grams of protein in there though. Of course, you can never go wrong with a bit of hummus. My favorite flavor is I was the caramelized onion, but it's got some added oil, not so great for health or macros. So some of them are reduced fat, like this red pepper one. Not the healthiest, but pretty tasty in some healthy ingredients, sweet potato pakora. Those have got 10 grams of protein in. These falafels have 13 grams. These little meals that you whack in the microwave have got 12 grams of protein each. This one sadly has coconut oil, so I'd swerve that on the grounds of heart health. Um, but this one's okay. Now this tomato and lentil soup is good. 16 grams of protein, no coconut oil, loads of healthy stuff in there. So this is edamame, cashews and peanuts. Of course they're roasted, so a little bit of oil, not the healthiest. A little bit of sugar, but not too much. 32 grams of protein. Soya yogurt can be really good, but unfortunately this one's got tons of sugar added in, which obviously isn't healthy, not great for your macros when you're at the gym. If you can find uh, an unsweetened one and just add some lovely fruit in, great. Some of these microwavable grains and legume packs can be super useful. These French inspired lentils are particularly good. 18 grams of protein for only 300 calories. Of course, canned legumes are always good. Here's like a pre-made taco bean mix. You could just shove that in a tortilla or whatever. Or just with standard beans. You know, one of the classic meals I'll grab and go is a can of beans, some salad, some microwave rice. Just rinse these off pop it in a little bowl, add some hot sauce, jobs are good in. Six grams of protein per little pot and nine grams of protein per little pot. Oil is one of the last ingredients on both of them. People often forget about the humble baked bean. If you get a normal sized can of beans and a couple of slices of wholemeal bread, there's about, what, 25 grams of protein there? 25 grams of protein. I always go for the no added sugar. This would have been all right. It's got soya crispy, so 26 grams of protein per 100 grams. Unfortunately, sugar is on the ingredients list before the crispy, so it's more sugar than um, protein. Not healthy. This stuff is really good for a vegan on the go. pre ground flaxseed, plenty of omega-3, which is important, and some degree of protein. So I wanted to show you a quick and easy breakfast. This muesli isn't ideal. It's got too much sugar in, i.e. It's got some refined sugar in it. It's not actually a whole lot, but I prefer to swerve it all together. So I wouldn't really eat this typically, but you might not mind a little bit of refined sugar. I typically eat sweetened cereals with, um, you know, like dried fruits. My caloric needs are high, so I get to eat half a <laughs> pack at a time. And this, together with 500 mils of a soya milk, also from Aldi, 39 grams of protein, I think it was. Sorry, 35 grams of protein. Add some fresh berries for more antioxidants and jobs are good in. So for lunch, you could just basically whack these in the microwave, take like a couple of minutes. Also got a salad bowl to add lovely micronutrients that, you know, a lot of people forget when they're a gym goer, they think of their protein and their like total cows. We need micronutrients as well for health and for exercise recovery. So we've got whole grain red and, sorry, whole grain wild and red rice. So that's quite interesting. And now with this French inspired lentils, 18 grams of protein in this pack. So we're actually gonna have 30 grams of protein in the whole meal. I'm just plating this up now because I wanna make a thumbnail for our video. There's only six grams of fat in these lentils, so not much oil at all. Of course, everything's better 
with a bit of hot sauce. So we've got the butternut squash falafel, the red pepper hummus, some bistro salad, and some good old whole grain pitters. These are great. For half of this and this pack, with the pit is 40 grams of protein. Ooh. So you can toast the pit is or not. You can pop the falafel in the microwave or not, but super easy to, you know, heat up or whatever if you're at work, as long as you've got those two devices. So there you have it, zero prep meals. There is no excuse not to meet your gym goals. If you want to optimize your health, body shape, or sports performance, consider hiring me as your coach. Got an online service link below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.